Hi, this is Nancy Priya from CS Department, Perry Institute of Technology. This video is for VCSE students, second year, fourth semester, 2017 regulation. And the video is from the subject Design and Analysis of Algorithms. Uh, the topic is from Unit 5, Coping with Algorithmic Power. And the topic that I'm going to discuss is Traveling Salesman Problem Using Branch and Bound. So let's get into the topic. So before getting into the actual problem of traveling salesman, I just wanted you uh, to know about the problem statement of traveling salesman. So what is traveling salesman? From the name, you can assume a person is traveling and there is a problem in the travel. So uh, just from the name, you can uh, get to know about the topic. So yes, that's correct. The meaning is, you are going to travel between n cities. So, for example, uh, let me tell you, I am giving you 5 cities. So, a person is going to travel between 5 cities. So, what is the main thing that you have to remember in traveling salesman is the cost. So, the cost for the travel from one city to another must be minimum. Of course, uh, people used to choose by that way, right? So, the cost must be minimum for the travel. So, only then the path can be chosen. So, the cost for the travel from one city to another must be minimum. So, this is the main problem statement of traveling salesman. So, we have two rules to be followed for traveling salesman. So, the first one is, you are going to start from a city and you have to return to the same city after completing the tour. So, as I told you earlier, for example, if you are going to consider five cities, say for example, I am going to start from city 1. I have to travel to city 2, 3, 4 in any order and reach to 1 again. So, that is the first rule. Start from a city, return to the same city after completing your tour. And the most important rule of traveling salesman is, you have to visit a city exactly once. Which means that you can go to a city only one time. You cannot go to the same city another time. Which means that each city can be visited exactly once. So, you have to start from a city, go to uh, various cities and reach the starting city by making the rule satisfying that visiting each city exactly once. So, for solving the traveling salesman problem in branch and bound, you are supposed to solve a formula. So, what is it? It is nothing but the lower bound formula. So, lower bound LV equal to summation of sum of cost of two least cost edges adjacent to V divided by 2. So, this is your formula. So, sum of cost of two least cost edges adjacent to V. What is it actually? So, look at the example graph that I have given here. Just for your example. So, I have considered this graph. So, I am going to consider a vertex A. So, what are all the edges that are adjacent to A? So, AB is one edge that is adjacent to A. Similarly, AC is an another edge which is adjacent to A and AD is another edge which is adjacent to A. So, the cost of these edges are AB the cost is 2, AC the cost is uh, 5 and AD the cost is 7. So, the criteria is you have to choose two least cost edges. So, what are all two least cost edges from the cost that you have found? So, A to B is 2. A to C is 5. So, these two are the least, the minimum among, the two minimum cost among all three is these two. So, I am going to add these two and this becomes the answer for this particular uh, part. Okay, to make uh, you this statement clear, I have just given you the example. So, as a total lower bound, we are going to find the summation of each and every edge like that. So, when you get into the problem, you will understand. So, I just wanted to clear the statement here. That is why I gave, the, gave you the uh, example here. So, I am going to consider two minimum cost and I am going to add it and I am going to keep it in this part. So, similarly, we are going to do for every vertices and we are going to make as a sum as a total. Then we are going to divide it by 2. So, this is my lower bound formula which you are going to find for the traveling salesman problem. Okay. Now, let us get into the problem. Uh, the problem is, construct a state space tree for the traveling salesman using branch and bound technique. So, they will be giving you a weighted graph. 
so from that graph we have to sub, uh, suppose to find the traveling salesman's optimum solution so uh, right from the question what do you understand is they have given you four cities four vertices uh, means four cities a b c and d are the four cities and this is the cost the numbers over the edges are nothing but the cost for the travel between the cities so what you have to do what is the original goal of the problem is you are supposed to start from a for example i am considering a you can start from any vertex i am going to start from vertex a so I, if i start from vertex a i should visit every vertices exactly once and reach the same, same vertex a in such a way that the cost for the travel is minimum so we have to find which path is minimum for the travel and we are going to choose it and we are going to draw a state space tree as you know already and we are going to use the loewe bond formula for the calculation okay so so uh, let me uh, solve the problem so step 1 so i am going to consider vertex a for my travel now i am going to start from vertex a and i am going to be reach vertex a at the last so my starting point is a okay so we are supposed to find the lower bound value so this is my first vertex i am going to start from vertex a what you are going to do is you are going to calculate the sum of two least cost edges adjacent to each and every vertex so just for your uh, uh, reference i have written the formula again here so we are going to find the sum of two least cost edges adjacent to v so here v represents each and every edge which means edge uh, vertex sorry uh, a b c and d so you are going to find the sum of two least cost edges which are adjacent to a adjacent to b adjacent to c and adjacent to d so overall you are going to find for every vertex and you are going to find the sum of all the vertices this is the actual meaning of this formula so let me consider vertex a first so for vertex a what are all the vertices that are uh, to least cost vert edges that are adjacent a b is least cost uh, first actually uh, see the edges first so the edges that are adjacent to a are a b a d and a c okay from these three which two are low co lowest cost a b and a c are of lowest cost therefore i am going to take a b plus a c so two least cost edges adjacent to a we have found the answer plus why i am adding it here we are going to find the formula the whole formula the whole formula comes under summation of all the vertices so plus what are all the vertices edges that are adjacent to b look at b now the edges that are adjacent to b are a a b c b and d b so among these three which is lowest two and this 8 and this 3 so among these three 2 and 3 are of lowest cost so we are going to add those two vertices which is b to a plus b to d so these two are the edges b to a and b to d are the edges that are of lowest cost for b next we are going to calculate for c so for c what are all the adjacent edges c to a c to d and c to b this is 5 this is 1 and this is 8 among these three 5 and 1 are minimum therefore c to a and c to d are going to be considered so c to a plus c to b sorry c to d plus for d what are all the edges that are adjacent d to c d to a and d to b so this is 1 this is 7 and this is 8 among these three 1 and 3 are minimum therefore i am going to take d to c plus d to b hope you understand so these two are the uh, edges that are adjacent for a least adjacent for a these two are the edges least adjacent for b these two are the edges that are least adjacent for c and these two are the edges that are least adjacent for d so according to the formula you are going to add for every vertices as a whole and you are going to divide it by 2 so i am going to just substitute the cost for each and every uh, values here so the value will be 2 and this is 5 plus uh, 2 plus uh, 3 plus 5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 3 so 
actually this is the formula divided by 2. So, divided by 2, so what do you get here? You get I hope 22 divided by 2 and my answer is 11. So, the lower bound when we start from a vertex A is 11. So, what is my next step is I am going to draw the state space tree with node 0 and I am going to write it as A which means I am going to start from a vertex I am starting from a vertex A and I am going to draw a state space tree now which is specifying with the lower bound 11. So, A consider this as node as you know already. So, consider it as node I am going to specify it as A why because I am starting from vertex A and now the lower bound that we have found is 11 and you specify it as node 0 and this is my root node for the state space tree ok. So, as you know already we have found the first uh, mean the first vertex. So, what is the next step? So, from vertex A we have three path to travel what are they from A I have a path to B I have a path to D I have a path to C. So, as I told you earlier in branch and bound you are supposed to see the possibilities. So, first of all you are supposed to see the possibility once you get the minimum for the next step you can choose only that particular branch to get the solution. So, you have three pieces of edges here A to B, A to D and A to C. So, we are going to have three branches here with a node specifying it as A to B and with a node specifying as A to C and you will be having one more node specifying it as A to D. So, this is what you know already in um, assignment problem itself we have discussed right. So, the state space tree we are going to see the possibility of the uh, execution. So, here first I am starting from root uh, mean first I am starting from a vertex A therefore I am, I am writing it in the root node as A and I found the lower bound as 11 initially therefore I have substituted here. So, from A I am going to travel to different cities I do not know which I am going to choose now only by the lower bound value the minimum value I will be proceeding for the next step right. So, to find that what are the possibility from A to B to C to D therefore I have taken three branches A to B, A to C and A to D. So, what is my next step? I am going to find the lower bound for A to B. I end up the session here. We will find the A to B's lower bound value and the optimum solution in the next video. Thank you.